Hello everyone, Tyler Edlin. Welcome to Brush Sauce Theater. Have you ever wanted to go back and touch up some older projects? Have you felt like you excelled a lot in terms of skill and progression in your, your own artistic merits? Uh, that's what this episode's going to be about. Hello everyone, so last year in early 2015 I had the opportunity to work on several kind of key character illustrations and background splashes for the game Sorcerer King. Uh, it's really cool, it's a turn-based uh, resource management uh, strategy type of game on the PC. And I was under uh, a strict time restraint as many art projects kind of go and I I did the best I could to get every uh, illustration done as soon as I could and make the deadline, which I think back, if I correct, it was around two and a half days per illustration I had. So it was, and they were character focused, which is not my, my, my biggest strength. So yeah, I struggled with it and I, I got the job done and I was happy with it at the time. Uh, flash forward eight, eight, ten months, I went back, the game released and I could start sharing some of the art. And I wanted to kind of touch it up a bit, though. After the fact, uh, I wanted something new to put on my portfolio, to you know, because I wanted to get more into fantasy illustration. So I went back and revisited a few of the, my favorite pieces from the project. And so that's what we have before me here: just uh, some of the originals and some of the newer versions. Some more successful than others. Have you guys ever uh, kind of went through the same thing where you, you, you worked on a project and you uh, by the time you were able to, the NDA list lifted and you could post something and you just thought it was crap. <laughs> or not crap, but you're like, I know I could have done a lot better. Or something like that. Well, that that's exactly how I felt. So I, I did want to go back and, and touch things up, uh, get them looking good for the, for the new uh, website. So uh, yeah, I could just talk about that and a uh, little bit of the process. So these were meant to be designed as splash pages. They would have the UI and a menu con uh, covering the entire right side of the screen. That's why the characters are all off uh, to the left on them. And they just had to kind of be standing there, which is fine enough. Uh, it Every design has a different spec that you have to kind of uh, gear it towards and have a different intention. And so th they look good enough, and I could see them being as kind of promotional or marketing art. Uh, with my own uh, website and, and such like that. So I did want to go back. Uh, here's the original one, and it's it's okay. It's not bad. It, I, I, but at the same time, I know I could have uh, did this a lot better. Uh, the background is you know, just a little too generic, and yeah, just generic. I don't know. What do you think? It, it definitely could have been a lot better. The, um, yeah, the trees, I didn't like any of this area. Just... Uh, this is the definition of a rush job in a nutshell, unfortunately. And so here is the uh, the newer one, which I feel is a lot more successful for several reasons. And this is kind of like an example of a really kind of big key uh, overhaul in terms of uh, what I did. So let me just try to arrange these a little bit better like that. Uh, so what did I improve? Well, what did I change? I, I wanted to adjust the background. Uh, so that that's where I kind of... Uh, first began with that so if I kind of take this away I I didn't want to reuse any of the the original background so I, I cooled it down and I just splashed some color on and then I began to draw um, a new palette and work out the composition and make it just a little bit more interesting virtually the whole thing staying the same I have a tree here I have a tree here I have that tree that tree and then a tree over here but I, I just made it more kind of windy more energetic and kind of a little more fantasy-ish as well. And I just kind of worked it up layer by layer, detail by detail, until I had something a little bit more tangible. And the character was floating on its own layer, so eventually after the fact, I would go and uh, just drop that in. But see, just every uh, layer I added, I just kind of refined the detail, did a little bit of cleanup, and kind of pushed it towards more of my uh, current standards. As you know, as artists, uh, we all, all our, our standards are changing all the time. What we're into all the time is changing all the time. So I, I wanted to basically get it up to code. And so that's what I did. Um, lots and lots of layers with the forest. And then yeah, eventually got the character in. And 
finally added all the little subtle changes. I, I added a bit of a twist in the torso so she's not straight on looking like a statue like this. A little bit of motion, I wanted to change the elevation of the, the shoulders. So that would add a, a little bit more uh, dynamics to it. And then overhaul the entire uh, outfit. I thought the, the original one was looking too much of like a peppermint candy wrapper. If this is a warrior of the forest, I didn't want to kind of give that vibe. So that's why I changed uh, the things that I did. Made the magic a little more subtle. I, I referenced the character a lot more. Tried to get a little bit more character into her. Still not, not the best effort, but uh, it's certainly, I think, a lot more interesting. And so, yeah, that's kind of like my story with this one. I'm Overall, I'm really pleased with this one's uh, renovations through and through. I, I, I didn't really... Uh, I wasn't really disappointed with how any of that kind of turned out in the the re in the redo, which is a little bit different story for the next one. Uh, here was the original. I actually liked a lot of things about it. I I, I like the color scheme a lot. I even like the character design. But uh, it, it's still again a rush job, and I, I liked some of the way the trees are looked, but not entirely. Uh, maybe just like I could have did a little bit better on the edge work with them. Uh, in terms of the character, her whole midsection is a bit flat, and she feels a little long in the torso-wise. I wasn't a fan of that either. I like the lighting, and I like the I like the design itself. But uh, I basically went with this one. I went a, a little bit different direction from the last one. I completely just I know I was inspired by new things, and I wanted to try a new look, a new lighting mood. So I I basically did again the whole image from scratch. Uh, I don't like necessarily the lighting as much as I did in this one. I wish I kind of actually kept that. Maybe I could go back and do that with a you know an extensive photo, but I don't think I'm gonna rework it a third time. I don't know. I'd have to be in the mood. Uh, I like the design of the character a lot better. It's a quite a different character. I was I was thinking uh, this is kind of like a good priestess. This is more along the lines of a kind of dark sorcerer, sorceress. Uh, and so that's that's the ch the character change. So the outfit changed, uh, the motivations changed, all that sort of thing. I like the I like the detail that I that I did get into her and how I rendered the materials. That's what it really was uh, a lesson in. Let me bring this up a little bit. Yeah, it was really challenging, and I wanted to get her to have like little uh, mind controlled minions back there. So I put them in. Though they mix a little bit too much because it's like white on white with the uh, the old kind of ruins. And then I added the spell effects uh, for, you know, all this for kind of for, like, for narrative. But uh, I don't think the soldiers were as successful as I wanted them to be. Um, and then the lighting itself, I, I'm not entirely happy with. But, yeah, I learned a lot going through it, and I think that's what matters. Um, definitely the material-wise and how I kind of portrayed her, the, the, the slight tilt angle on the head was a lot uh, of a challenge for me. I'm not that great at that sort of thing. Getting a nice kind of motion into the cape and the outfit, as well as designing it. Uh, doing like a leotard type of uh, pantyhose on, on the, um, the the stomach with different etchings in it. That was a really difficult texture to, uh, to try to do. So it was really an exercise in just challenging myself and in and, and an attempt to progress things. Uh, not the most uh, successful endeavor, but I did enjoy it and I'm, I'm happy that I did it. This one was cool. I like this. I finally got to do like a, a cool kind of commander type of image in front of his castle. And again, I wanted to push the narrative and the mood and everything with this. So uh, that's basically what I did with the new one. I added arrows coming through, smoke, fires. Like this place is actually under siege. I added some, some atmosphere in the background, added some guys among the debris, and then totally pimped him out when I changed the lighting. I kept the lighting direction the same, but I, I added a lot of the effects to him to help make him kind of visually pop off the page. And I'm happy with that how, how it turned out. Uh, the armor itself has a lot more detail in it uh, this time around, which is awesome. Uh, and uh, usually a good thing. Let's see, there's like one layer pass. I have a few different older versions on this. Yeah, I moved the character over to make a little more room. Added all this in here, the, the texturing and detail on the belts, some better highlights on the lion. Over, overall, lots of just subtle little things, particularly with this outfit and the, the, the texturing. And then, of course, the the, 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 the banners and the, uh, 
the environment itself I think is just a lot more dynamic. So overall, I am again very pleased with with how that turned out working. You know, just kind of coming from and working from this. Um, I. So ha have you guys ever really kind of run into that thing where you, you you've did a piece you were really kind of proud or you you, you made it work and you looked at it six months a year down the road and you're like uh this is this is not how I remember it do, do you I want to know if I'm the only one that kind of goes back and tries to completely overhaul images I'd, I'd love to know um, it's it's certainly a cool experience to at least try a few times and yeah I basically that's kind of concludes this I just wanted to share this this process and this experience a little bit with it uh, I know I haven't posted a video in a while so I, I definitely wanted to get something out there and let me know what you guys want to, I want to kind of keep this as these videos and the, the episodes going as like an ongoing discussion thing. And certainly we can integrate it into the Brush Sauce uh, community group. We have a, a contest uh, or a challenge due next week where Adam and I will be critiquing your work. So feel free to stop on by. There's a link below. And yeah, what do you guys want to, uh, what should I talk about next? I just built a new uh, portfolio page. Uh, I, we could talk about portfolios next. What do you guys want to know? regarding portfolios or what do you want me to mention or in, in my opinion of humble opinion of course regarding them but I think that'll be next uh, maybe in, a, in uh, two weeks or so I'll try to get something out on that so take care hey everyone if you enjoyed what you saw feel free to click the like or the subscribe button on the video it helps out a lot I also have a Facebook page feel free to join me there I update it all the time and of course I have Instagram which notifies you on all my updates I also have premium d uh, downloads for uh, tutorials, and I do offer a private one-on-one -on -one mentorship, which I'm constantly enrolling as there's availability. There's more information on this in my on my main website, and I, it, they're very kind of it's a personalized program where we cater to your interests and needs. Feel free to check out some of my testimonial videos or paintovers to get a general feel to see if it's a good fit for you. Thanks for viewing, and take care.